Hi, Virgo. How are you guys doing? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we didn't even get to make it to um, the star. So, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, the star. This means hope, abundance, promises, dreams coming true. As you wish upon a star, you get your fucking wish. <laughs> I don't know what y'all been dealing with, but I've been dealing with some crazy shit. Virgo, 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 Virgo. I love Virgos. We're so, you know, the thing is, like, about Virgos is, like, you know what? We speak so harshly, but I'm like, we're such nice people. <laughs> and people don't get us, I think. They just, like, but we are very harsh. We rip motherfuckers down. I had this guy tell me today that, like, ooh. That um, he was insecure around me, and I dated a Virgo, and he made me insecure because he was double Virgo. And I'm like, man, we got some power, but we have a lot of options right now. Um, <clears throat> so what's in your cup right now? <clears throat> what options do you have available? What things are still manifesting? These ones are like invisible because they are still in the astral plane. You have to put um. You know, you, when you ask for things, you just ask and you know that they're coming. So it's like, what have you put out there? What choices do you have available to you right now? Ooh, but you have two in mind. And the nine of pentacles backwards. So abundance is possible. It's a woman, I feel like, who is... It could be a man too, but someone who is in her... She's, she wants to be in her power. She wants to be in her femininity. She wants to be like, you know, Virgos. It seems like Virgos are kind of flip-flop. Like, the guys kind of act like girls and the girls kind of act like guys. So, Virgo women are used to being like the independent bitch. We're used to creating and talking to our cups and sailing on this fucking crazy-ass wave and saying like, fuck it, let's make our own wave. But are you making your own wave, or what two things are you juggling right now? What two options? This could be a, a boyfriend. This could be um, a career. This could be family. But, ooh, what is this little card that's popping? This little guy. Page of Pentacles. It was upside down in this whole deck. So you have an opportunity presented to you right now um, with um, that's going to bring you money. That's going to bring you security. Um, maybe you've been feeling worried. Uh, maybe you've been feeling like you're going to run out. Like you have a lack. Because, you know, Virgos are always worried about everything. We never stop fucking worrying. But know that, like, this star is the first card that popped. We have a lot of options available. You are the magician. You have every fucking thing you need. You have all the cups. You have a sword, a wand, a fucking money. You have everything coming in. Don't worry about that money because it's coming. Ooh. Oh, okay. So, being trapped in our mind. What In what ways are you holding yourself back? When are you going to get out of your own way? When are you going to go inside of yourself? When are you going to realize that maybe all the nagging and bitching is probably just you? <laughs> Although we are right most of the time. I'm not going to... I'm... Psh. We need to be careful how we use our sword and how we swing it around. We need to be in our power, our emperor power, who sits on a cement throne. And with this temperance card right here, she's merging like the spiritual into the material or this gold chalice into the silver chalice. So it's like mixing two things that don't necessarily go. I look like I got a fucking... <laughs> so it's like mixing two things that don't necessarily go together. It's um, not worrying how you're going to fill this cup up. Knowing that you got... They gave you the juice back here at the beginning. 
any motherfucking flavor. So you need to be over here mixing drinks and living your life, not worrying, not worried about any other motherfucker, not worried about any dudes, any bitches, any relationship at all. You should be worried about yourself right now. You should be worried about how are you raising your vibration, how are you being fully in your emperor power, and why that there's this imbalance of being in your power and being with this other person or friend group or job or whatever you have that you're not blending well, I guess. Mm. Ooh. So, Knight of Pentacles. So, is it time to stop plowing, maybe? Have we plowed the field enough? Is it time to slow down on the work? Is it time to give that horse a break? Is it time to plow fucking more? One of the two. There's an imbalance here somewhere. Mm. Now you have the sun. Upside down. Which I think of the sun is like Gemini. That little kid on it is Gemini. and But that is very um, Mercury energy too. You know, it's communications that... Um, you have the King of Wands with the Two of Swords. So, two twos, but this one's about taking your blindfold off and seeing shit for what it really is. Like, where are you lying to yourself? Is it with a fire sign? Is it with a Leo, Sag, or... Why do I always forget the fire ones? Leo, Sag, or... Aries. <laughs> are you dealing with one of those? What are those? Mm. So, mm. or the sun could also be a fire sign. Mm. But maybe you're dealing with a uh, fire sign and um, I don't know. Could be a lot of things, but ma the magician's Gemini too. And then with the emperor, the emperor is Aries. Mm. So it's like you have a lot of different energies here. But is it, you need a time to rest. You're doing too much, as usual. Mm. Mm. So, what can we do to fix this situation? Who can we reach out to for help? Who can guide us? Let's see. Queen of Cups. So, getting in touch with our emotions, nurturing our own heart nurturing and caring for ourselves taking that much needed time for rest and rejuvenation and getting to the bottom of what we really want in love and in life whatever you ooh, and in work what have you been working hard towards does love matter so much at this point have you been giving too much of yourself all of your life and you're tired because i feel like it's a total like, I feel like I've definitely took this whole shift of energy, like, I've been giving myself away for love all these fucking years, and I'm tired, and I'm like, I don't have time to give you all of myself. Like, um, if you're not ready to jump into the void and fucking break your neck with me, then I don't want you, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, so a new opportunity is coming. And this could be with Taurus, or it could be you getting to the bottom of your own mind game that you're playing with yourself. And digging deep in your subconscious into this emotional realm and balancing these dispersed like parts of yourself. These two sides that you've made. You've made this into um, love and hate when it's the same thing. What, what, what kind of bath water you want, hot or cold, it's still 
It's preference. Do, do you want to love this person or hate this person? Do you want to love or hate yourself? And the only thing that cures hate is love. And the only thing that cures the darkness is light. The only thing that cures ignorance is intelligence. So what? where do you need to shine this light in your life? I'm going to pull a couple from the Rebel deck. These ones are pretty dope. What do we got for Virgo? Or, ooh. Okay. Stop fucking whining. No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have strength to change the world, so do it. You also have a few more. Get over yourself. Pull your shit together. Help people give back, do shit for humanity. That project, that person, that idea is waiting. Get after that shit. The world has your back. Don't fucking force it, though. Allow that shit to come to you. And you have dullest signs with the rain. So it's definitely abundance. Getting in touch. You know, when you want to give back to the world, you got to give back to yourself first. It was 11-11 when I said that, too. It was weird on this video, but... Um, I think that we give way more of ourselves before we've even filled up our own cup. And we have to stop doing that. Stop depleting yourself. Because when you're fully in your power, you have more juice for everybody else. You have more money. You have more love. You have more kind words. You have more um, energy. You have more everything. The sun is in this reading, the moon is in this reading. It's like the sun is up and the moon is down in this reading. And you also have temperance here, which is actually upside down too. So I feel like it's like figuring out where the divide is. It's like balance your black and white, balance your sun and your moon, balance these ideas in your head that there are two different things and realize that it's all one and it doesn't matter which way you go really it's about merging the two together um it's about coming fully into your power being in your strength figuring out who you want to be <clears throat> answer the call whatever your soul is calling to do answer it okay well i'll see you guys in march subscribe like share check out my website tylerdesantis.com book a personal reading check out my art i made it with period blood that's pretty sickening but it's for a good reason check them out they're pretty dope bye i love you guys